What's up guys, it's Carson here from Tools with Tools. Today we're gonna to be doing a short video. I'm gonna show you how to program one of these uh, pedestrian crossing signs with the countdown. In my searches and learning how to program this, there isn't a lot of information out there about how to make the countdown work and how to wire everything up. This will be a quick video, so if you can find one of these on your local classifieds, you'll have a bitch in addition to your garage. All right, so first thing I wanna talk about is my power supply. I just bought a piece of crap Harbor Freight extension cord and I'm, I just cut the end of it off and I'm using the positive and the negative. So first, we'll go ahead and take these off and we'll swing this cover up. And this is where you're going to see the whole guts of everything. So I've already kind of come in here and gutted everything, but usually the way that this works is you can see there's a terminal here and the wires from the actual screen will go to the terminal and then the terminal will go out to wherever the city or county or whatever would program the stoplight from. So to make this work, you're gonna need either a Raspberry Pi, or in my case, I'm using an Arduino, but this is like a specific one for traffic lights that has the relays built in. Uh, so you're gonna need some kind of controller. Now the confusion that I saw most on the internet with this was people didn't know how to make the countdown start. So there's actually another computer in here, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But first I wanna talk about how I wired up this Arduino. So we have our, our nice little Harbor Freight extension cord coming in here, and we have in our terminals here, we have positive and negative, and now we can kind of get into what these other wires do. So here, off the light, it comes down to this, and you can see there's a little label here. So it says there's an orange is for the hand, the man is blue, and the ground is white. So you can see that orange here has been plugged into this pin, which is pin six, I believe, and the blue has been plugged into pin seven. Now, the reason that I know that is on the back of this Arduino, uh, if you can see here, sorry, there's wires everywhere, but there, it's labeled which pins are which. All right, so now we know how this is wired. Let's talk about how this functions. So to get the countdown timer to work, you have to program your Arduino to flash the hand in uh, half second uh, intervals or 500 milliseconds. So I have this counting down from 30. So the way that I have my Arduino programmed is what it does is it starts up and it shows the hand and it flashes the hand on for a half a second and off for a half a second and it does this 30 times, okay? So when it does this, it has to do a complete cycle and while it's flashing the hand, the internal computer in the, L in the display is counting how many times that hand flashes. So what should happen is, let's see, we'll go ahead and plug this in now. I'll show you. So we've got our hand and it's flashing. Now the first time around, it's not gonna have a countdown timer because what this is doing is now the screen, the computer in the screen is calculating how many times the hand flashes. So once it goes through a full cycle, it'll say, okay, in this case, it's flashed 30 times. So then we'll start a countdown when the hand starts to flash from 30. So notice it's still kind of flashing, 30 is a lot. Once it goes solid, I have it programmed to go solid for 10 seconds and then the walkie guy or whatever you wanna call him. So there it's gone solid. It should go solid for 10 seconds, and then the watt guy will come on here shortly for 10 seconds, and it'll start that cycle over, and when it starts that cycle, it now knows what the countdown is going to be. So in the Arduino, you could tell it you want it to flash 25 times, or you want it to flash 30 times, and every time upon initial startup, it's, it's going to take a second because it has to learn. So it, 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 there's a little bit of learning involved with the display. So the Arduino is not telling it to, to count down 30 times from 30 or whatever, it's actually happening in here. Now we've gone through one full cycle. So after this dude goes away, it should start counting down from 30. And there it is. All right, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, now I guess I'll talk about the code. I know a lot of people don't really <laughs> like listening about how to code stuff, but you need to know how to do it for this. And I'll also put the code in the description below the video. So if you wanna just copy the code that I've written, you can go in there and change it and make it you know, count down from whatever value you decide to. So we'll talk about the code here now. Here is our code for our uh, walk signal here. So we'll just start at the top and work our way down. So here we see, uh, up here we're just defining things. So W would be our walk and DW is don't walk. And what I'm telling it is that walk is pin seven on the Arduino and don't walk is pin six. So down here, this is where we, we set up the program. Those of you that are familiar with Arduino know what this is. Uh, here, what we're telling the Arduino is that it's an output instead of an input. So the Arduino is gonna be outputting voltage from 
W and DW, which is seven and six. Okay, so this is where we really get into the programming down here, how, how this works. So what I've told it here is I want it to do this function 30 times, and that's what this is right here. So what I've told it to is it's going to turn the don't walk signal on for 500 milliseconds or a half second, and then it's going to turn it off for another 500 milliseconds, and it's going to do this 30 times, right? At the end of this cycle, now it's going to go here where it will tell the don't walk signal to turn on for 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds, and then turn it off and subsequently turn on the walk signal for 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds and then turn it back off. And this whole thing just goes in a loop. Now, once, like I said earlier in the video, after it's gone through one cycle and it's seen this, it will learn, okay, we want to do it 30 times. So let's say you wanted it to count down from 25. You just type in 25 here and then you would send it to the Arduino. Or if you wanted to, let's say you want the don't walk signal to be on for 15 seconds, you could just type in 15 here, Oops, sorry, 15, and send it and it would be on for 15 seconds. Same thing with the walk signal. Well guys, I hope this video helped you figure out how to program and how to set up your very own pedestrian crosswalk sign with the countdown. The countdown timer is pretty cool and that was the hardest thing to figure out how to do. Check back later if you wanna see this video of how I programmed this five light traffic light. Uh, this one uses an Arduino and I also have a three light that I've programmed that's also in the video and that just uses your standard Amazon uh, traffic light controller. So you don't need to know Arduino to be able to build something like this. I hope this was informative. This channel is all about just getting out there and learning how to do things and figuring things out and building some cool stuff. So we hope that uh, we helped you with that today. Check back some of our other episode of Tools with Tools and we'll see you later. Nice!